flat track racing in America is quite possibly one of the most dangerous sports on earth. Consequently, the amount of time needed to prepare for a race is enormous. What the spectator sees on the track is like the tip of an iceberg when you consider that one minute of racing time is equal to at least a day of preparation. You know, sometimes you get on the racetrack, you get concentrated. Sometimes you forget to breathe and you go down the straightaway. You have to concentrate and tell yourself, put your helmet back down on your head, take a few deep breaths before you dive off into the turn where your automatic reaction is to hold your breath again because your uh, body is one constant tense muscle trying to hold the machine up at these kind of speeds. get going you want to you know get going and get out there and do what you're gonna do and I hate to wait I really hate to wait the only person that was there was the starter if the starter moved my eyes moved because I was following his every action no matter where he is I've been caught so many times on the starting line that I've become apprehensive reading the starter and getting off there seems to be one of the biggest traumas of the day for me. When he would raise the flag above his head, I noticed on the preceding event that every time that he started the flag down, he always followed through and he came up instantly with it, which meant the race was underway. As soon as he started down, I dropped the clutch. I was gone. These 90 horsepower Harleys have no front brake. And a slight mistake at 130 miles an hour could easily cost a life. This is feeling good. There's 130 there, and I throw it into the turn sideways. It's fantastic feeling. Oh, this is out of sight. Okay, I'll get her sideways. Gas is on. Wide open. Whoop. She jumped around a little there. It's more safe when the machinery is working. It's nearly impossible for the naked eye to see what it takes to handle a bike at these speeds. Only when the action is slowed down can one begin to understand the amazing skill involved in maintaining control of the bike. State and county fairs are as much a part of American culture as mom and apple pie. And ever since the second motorcycle was built, motorcycle racing has played a major part in those fairs. A classic state fair takes place every year in Indianapolis, Indiana, combining rides, sideshows, games of chance, and foods of even greater chance with trotters by day and bikers by night.
witnessed an evening of racing history. Grand National Champion Kenny Roberts rolled onto the track with a 130 horsepower, four-cylinder road racing engine packed into a dirt track frame. The bike had never been run in competition before, and no one, not even Roberts, knew what it could do.